We wanted to do a documentary on type 2 diabetes because it affects each one of us in one way or another. Um, I know for me personally, it's become normalized in my family. As young people, we can actually make a change to this. It doesn't have to be our normal. Yeah. Mm. For me personally, I felt like our Tongan community needed to hear about this and we needed to empower them to make a change. Mm. Mm. Just like our grandparents, you know, they used to tell stories. Mm. Yeah. Valencia Sinsa was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2017. I mean, I, I know I'm overweight, but there is that stereotype of Tongan bodies. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not overly obese. And I thought I would never get diabetes. If anything, I would probably be diagnosed with cancer because cancer runs in my family. So diabetes was not in the horizon. Even though the high school counsellor was told she was pre-diabetic two years earlier, the diagnosis was still a shock. How did your family react to the diagnosis? I mean, that's... It's probably the, the most difficult. I've never been asked this question, so that's why it's, it's hard. I... I found it really difficult. My son, was, you know, he thinks it's a new word, so he kept he would keep on saying, "Mum, you can't eat that. Remember, you've got diabetes." My daughter, who's at university, we broke the news, and I said to Katie, "Now that I've got it, you need to do something about it." Typical teenager, you know, she's thinking, oh yeah, mum's got it, it's not going to affect me. And that's a drive for me to, to do this documentary because she's 19 and I'm saying to her, you need to do something about it now. What would the strong message have been that you would have liked to hear? Had someone tapped me on my shoulders and say, see, I do something about it, prevent it. Would I have done something differently? Absolutely. Absolutely. Folata Keitu Him knew a lot about diabetes. Both her parents were type 2 diabetics, but when she was diagnosed with the disease in 2005, she couldn't quite believe it was also happening to her. But now I can look back and see how I change the way I eat and drink. Maybe it will help. เมนูไอ้ฟามิลี่กินเมียกว่าไก่สาลาติเปอไลไลเปสาลาติปงวนมีแต่ฟาซีซีเปไก่อูฟิมวยไอ้เมียสตาร์ซีแต่มวยไก
<laughs> Diabetes isn't just a disease for one person, it affects everybody yeah. in one way or another, caregivers yeah. included. Devita Tuinawai Asaeli is a well-known punaki, a master of tongue and dance. For well over a decade, he's taught students and young people throughout Auckland, but during this time, he was also the main caregiver for his diabetic parents. Um, I don't have diabetes, but I was a carer for my father and my mother. I had a father who was um, blind and also deaf. And so he's, he was bedridden. And communicating with him because he couldn't hear or see was by writing on his hand. So it was a 24-7 care. And when dad became bedridden, my mother was also diabetic and she had to be injected twice a day in the morning and the afternoon. We couldn't get our mum to look after dad, so I literally slept with him on the floor next to him by the time he passed away. What would be at least one or two key messages you want to convey to our younger Tongan community? I have two younger sisters, and who's gonna... Who's gonna walk them down the aisle? Who's gonna have the joy of looking at their kids one day. And that gaping hole is really hard to fill. Um, and diabetes is the one of the major factors that is taking away our loved ones. It is preventable because Everything you do to your body will come back to you. People like us, we, when it's Mother's Day or Father's Day, we're envious of others because they have it at home and we have it at the cemetery. And we don't want what I experienced, I don't want anyone else to go through. That's what's really important to get out of this story is that now is the time to make those changes. This is a lifestyle change and it's going to affect the whole family. So I think that's the key message. Take ownership of your health and feel empowered to do so. Like that common proverb, like most of us would know, um, that dai la mo ke So for me, um, you know, it's so important to prevent this early. Um, and there's always hope.